What's happening? Lunch with Bomb. If you come on, drop a thumbs up. Tell me where you're coming from. What's your day look like? Would your, uh, anybody work out yet today? Topic is you get to. All right. Got another really good one. Who's coming on? Let's see. Give me a what's up. Here's a little thought for you, and I'll start off the uh, little lunch with bomb here. If smiles were gold, how rich would you be? You never know what you how how much you could brighten up someone's day just by adding a little bit of smile into your day. So drop a thumbs. Tell me what. You, tell me where you're coming from. What's going on? All right. Here's a here's the deal. All right. We we're getting done with all of our testing here. The high school. Uh, we do a little decathlon, our top catch challenge. We got ten events that we do at the end of our uh, each term. But uh, you know, you you got to you you got to do it. You get to try. Uh, I posted a thing earlier. Uh, Mandy Harvey, uh, she was on um, America's Got Talent singing uh, when she was 18 year old. She has um, uh, she lost her hearing and uh, um, lost her hearing, and then she quit. She quit singing because she thought she couldn't do it. And then she realized that she could still do it. She could feel the, the, the vibrations in the floor from the music. And so she kept doing it. She just decided that she had to do it. You know, if you never try, you'll never get. If you never ask, you'll never get. All right? Because if you don't know how to do something, you got to ask somebody how. Okay? So, uh, you know, this thing, it was awesome. She's beautiful. You have to go back on my Facebook and... Uh, um, Listen to it because it's it's pretty pretty cool. She's deaf and she sings beautifully. But my whole point is, uh, you know, you you have to do it. Uh, Brandon Hayes posted a really awesome thing, and I stole that. Posted on my wall because it resonated with me. And the the saying goes: When I lost all of my excuses, I found all of my results. So whatever you're dealing with, whether you want to lose weight or you want performance enhancement or you know job or whatever it is, you got to give up the excuses. You know, you got to give up the excuses in order to get what you want. You you can't make excuses about anything. You got to give those things up to get whatever results that you want to have. Okay. So the other, um, uh, the, I had another, there's a good, good little story, uh, talks about dealing with failure and, you know, making choices. So Roger Federer, we did this, uh, a sports psychology class at, at MVP a, a little while ago, and we were talking about Roger Federer and, you know, they make mistakes, you know, they make bad shots. And the good people, what they do is they redirect their thinking. It's all about your mindset. Like Brandon said, you give up your excuses, you find your results. You know, the uh, the thing with what Roger Federer was doing though, is he makes an errant shot. And you know, there's thousands of people in the stands. And all of a sudden, he'll kind of gaze up in the stands and he'll just kind of look around. And finally someone picked up on it and they were asking him, you know, what, you know, what, what, what's going on? What were you, what were you thinking? And he's like, you know, I just look in the stands and he, I just say, there's no place on earth I'd rather be than here right now. Look at this opportunity that I have. Share that with my students and my athletes and my clients that you have an opportunity. That's why I say about like, you don't have to do anything. Nothing. Look at look at our look at how sick our pop, world's population is. Seventy percent of our world's population is popping Tic Tacs and on at least one prescription medication. Most of them, many, six out of the ten deaths that happen in the world could be fi could be fixed with proper nutrition and exercise. But people don't do it. You don't have to do anything. You get to. That's why my whole thing is you got to try. You get to try. All right. So you know what does Federer do? He makes if something bad happens. What does he do? He's just got to redirect his thinking. He just tells himself, "Shoot, there's no place on earth I'd rather be than here right now. Look at this opportunity that I have. Redirect my thinking and go get the next point." That redirection. All right, folks. It's it's in your mindset and how you approach things. We all we all have the same amount of time, right? We got there's seven days in the week. There's 168 hours in the week. There's 24 hours in a day. We all have the same amount of time. We get to do the things that we do. You know, you can make excuses about this, that, and whatever it is. And you know, you don't have to do anything. You get to do it. Uh, it's a that, but the whole point is how it matters what you do and how you do it. Uh, I was talking with my girls. Uh, you know, my 12 you girls. You know, I always tell them when you're hitting, what are the two things that you have a control over? right? And they'll tell you, I have control over the swing that I take and the pitch that I swing at. The product, I don't have control over that. You know, but what I do have control of, I have control over the fundamental things that I do every day in my life. 
and the outcome, you know, it's not about, you know, winning or losing or success or failure or good or bad. It's all learning experiences, you know, no good experiences or bad experiences, just learning experiences, you know, once again, it just, um, it matters on how, how we do it. How do we use our time? How do we make the choices that we make, right? So, you know, going back to you get to do the things that you do. Savannah, what's happening? Hey, yep. Hey, glad I could help out. Fantastic. Hope D Roop's in the house. All right. Hey, Debbie, what's going on? Uh, yes, good. It's been an awesome day. You know, we got, we're into our final day of testing. You know, I figured that, uh, you know, we're talking about, uh, we're getting ready for graduation. Our seniors are last day today. They're going to graduate. You know, these are all opportunities for them. You know, I always ask them, you know, one of my lines I ask the kids is I, or anybody I run into, I say, hey, what do you know? And they said, what do you mean? What do I know? I said, it's not a trick question. What do you know? You know, what are you doing? How'd your day go? Did you learn anything today? Good, good opportunity today? Did you work out today? You know, I'm a P weightlifting guy. Like, love, you know, the world I live in. And so my first thing I asked the girls, how was your day? You know, awesome. Yep, yep. Did you learn anything? Yeah, we did this and that. And we did rhythms and weird math. And, you know, and then... I said, yeah, PE today. And at where they go to school, the grade school, they go to school, they have uh, rhythms. It's like rhythmic dance and different things like that on one day. They get PE on another day. So they always have, you know, something's going on. Or, you know, maybe they had, uh, you know, they're in, they had an extra recess or something like that. But, you know, I'm always interested in knowing, you know, what kind of activity and things that they're doing, right? Here's the choices that I get to make. You know, uh, someone, uh, posted something about, uh, oh, they went to this fast food restaurant or, or whatever. You know, here's the one other thing. The choices that I get to make, I get to make them. And I says, we're driving down, this is a great story. Last thing, because I got to go. I got class coming. Lunch with bomb. But this is all about I get to, right? So we're driving down the street, and my little one, Leah, she says, hey, daddy, what's that... Um, What's the that the gold M? How come there's so many people in line over there? And I said, nah, nothing, you know. And then one of the other girls says, oh, that's that's you know Mickey D's, right? And so and she says, well, how come? Well, Dad won't eat there. Just the choices that I make. But the the cool part is like she didn't know what it was, right? Because we don't go there, you know. My kids don't have that choice. They don't have. To, I get to make that choice. And then hopefully down the road, I've instilled some some life lessons and things in them to go and do, you know, if they're going to live a healthy lifestyle and whatnot, and not be a statistic. That's the choice that I make, so that. Hopefully I can rub off on them. But my whole point in this whole thing, it doesn't matter what you do. You don't have to do anything. You get to do it. You have to choose to. You choose to or you choose not to. It's a simple fact is that. What up, D. Root? We never fail. We win. Yep. Yeah. You know, it's like, um, you know, uh, the, I was talking with, um, you know, we've been taking our lumps in softball and I love it because there's so many learning experiences. We have this one little play where we literally, we threw the ball all over the field and all the runners scored on the other team. And then the next play, we had a play, ball gets thrown into the outfield and my young lady, she didn't even think, she just reacted, scooped the ball up, threw the ball home, catch, tag, out at the plate. It was like, that is exactly kind of how things, it's a reaction, right? It's like, uh, oh, Griff back here, one of my favorite ones. All right, really last thing, because I really got to go. Uh, last thing is that uh, he hit a ball, ball's a curveball down and in on his laces and he literally lights out, hit it like triple deck out of the park, right? It was like 500 and some feet and the reporter, you know, they always have great questions. They say, well, how'd you do it? He says, I just saw it and I hit it. And then he goes on to talk about, you know, I mean, all the time. I mean, think about it, you know, all the time on the tee, all the batting practice, all the reps, all the reps, all the reps, all the reps, you know, grooving, grooving, grooving. So that when you get into the game situation, it's just a reaction. So folks, you guys have an amazing day. Like I said, you know, you get to or you choose not to. You know, the opportunities that you have. If you don't know how to, then call somebody. Uh, if you're looking for something in the in the workout world, the nutrition world, or whatever, and you need something from me, hook, give me a call, message me, drop a comment, need some help, whatever it is, shoot me a text. If you know my number, if not, message me here. I'll come back to you. We'll get we'll get you going. And um, you know, here to help. Lunch with Bomb has been great. Once again, my I started at the beginning, but if smiles were gold, how rich would you be? You go brighten up somebody's day to day. Tell them that uh, you know that you love them and give them a nice big smile. If you don't know who they are, just say hello. Give them a nice big smile, and then uh, you know you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna go finish up my kids' testing here, and we're gonna finish this out. Seniors' last day. Lunch with bomb. Out. You guys have an awesome one.
See ya.